Okay, on 11-8, they're saying don't be scared. We did this already. Yes, we did. Um, don't let the blank space freeze you up. Um, just start with what you know. So we've got to do some waiting and we're gonna want the goat. Oh, that first one is um, uh, zero is over there. So notice we have zero and three, so we're gonna need to kind of go back and forth. So they're both gonna need to cross. So I'm gonna start with until our tiger is sleeping or our tiger is playing wait now if you're a big fan of um copy and paste um i can copy this because i'm going to be using it in just a moment now after that happens i'm going to move my goat to the bridge so go go to bridge zero now if all you needed was like a strategy for how to start, you might know what you need to do for the rest of this activity. Feel free to pause this video and go back to your code or stick around. So now I'm gonna do the same and I'm gonna paste that until tiger sleeping or tiger playing wait. Um, and you don't have to use copy and paste. You could just, um, but now I, you, we need the monkey. Oh, I don't need to touch monkey. So, what? And again, be careful. These have to go after, so they're not part of the until, so make sure they're not indented. So we just go to, in this case, bridge one. Now, we're ready to use a for loop for connecting our collecting our bananas. So, we're using, these are all things that we've used before. We're just using them sort of in a different order or in a different way, with a in a different sequence. For B and bananas, now we need to put our if um, B is frozen, right? And in our if conditional, we have go, go to B and goat hit B. What? No, don't need to put B. Now, oh, perfect. Going back to my 4B and bananas loop, not in the if condition there. I, so my cursor needs to be lined up under the I and if. Now we put our go to B because it, if it's not the if it's not frozen, then the monkey goes. So we're first getting the goat and the monkey to the bridges. Then we're worrying about collecting. And that's how you should approach all of these. Like just which order do I need to worry about getting things done? Sometimes our until loops are part of our for loop or until conditions are part of our for loop. 